So hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how we can actually use the MMNI API on the Google Cloud platform to basically run generative AI commands and prompts. So guys, let's get straight in the video. All right, so first of all, head up to your Google Cloud console and then search up for Gemini API. Gemini API, this is the Gemini API we have to work with. And now you need to enable this API. It is enabled for me already, but if it not, it is not enabled for you, you can, uh, you would be seeing a uh, enable API button here. You need to press that and the API will be enabled. All right, so now we can actually move on to the uh, getting, creating keys for accessing the APIs, which is present in the API and services section. Now head up to the credentials in the sidebar. Now you can see the API key present here. If it is not present for you, you can actually uh, create credentials here and then an API key here. All right. So now uh, we need to see this key and then we can see it here. We can actually copy the key. And now we can actually store it securely i would not uh, recommend you storing this directly in the code but in the env file so now we can start working with the code all right so first step is to actually download the requirements for the uh, functioning of google uh, generative ai client which are just one library we need to download which is pip install hyphen q hyphen u google generative ai all right so installing this api we can installing this uh, requirement we can now move on to function with gemini api all right first of all we need to import this module with the help of import google dot generative ai as gen ai all right so this gen ai is basically uh used to run all the gen ai commands which we run in gemini as well and it will return uh the response from gemini itself directly so we can configure this gen ai by inputting it with our api key which is api key equals to API key. All right, so the Gen AI is configured. Now we can actually select the model we want to work with. There are multiple models available for Gemini. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I will just use the uh, Gemini's 1.5 flash here. Model equals to Gen AI dot generative model, which is used for actually running the generative AI commands and we can specify the model name for this purpose we can select Gemini 1.5 flash so now we have created the model through which we can access the Google Gemini's uh, generative AI model and now we can start actually uh, getting the functions all right so first of all we can actually use this for text generation so how we can use is basically just a simple prompting and answering situation where we just uh, say a statement to the gen ai model and then it responds it with its uh, knowledge of whatever uh, he it knows about it so we can simply access it by uh, running the models generate content sorry uh, yeah we can simply access it by running the model generate co uh, co generate content function we can define the generate text here and then we can return model dot generate text of prom which is passed in this function all right now our second utility we can actually use it for text summarization Now we can define text, summarize, then we can pass, actually we can use two functions. We can actually use model summarize or we can actually pass in the prompt as or we can simply 
pass in the prompt as model dot generate content and then we have the prompt as f string which has summarize this and then we pass in the text we actually pass in the function so this is basically how we are actually talking with gen ai we are just commanding it to perform the function based on a prompt and uh, it can it can't function like a regular uh, gen ai model just like how you work with gemini all right for the third use case we can actually use it for questioning and answering questioning answering how we can use that is define we can define it using question answering then we need to have a context for it context is basically a prerequisite knowledge which is required to answer this question so we can actually uh, just pass it uh, just pass the context and the question through it and then we can generate again we can tell the model to generate the content based on the question for which the context is the context variable pass in the argument that's how we can use uh gen ai for this all right now we can actually do sentimental analysis as well what we can do is define sentimental analysis and now we can create a function for sentimental analysis which takes a text as uh, an argument and we can just prompt the gen ai model to analyze the sentiment of this text and then we can pass the text that's how we can actually use this gen ai model as sentiment uh, analyzer for another use case we can use it for text translation and how we can use it is simply again passing the prompt like translate this text to the target language and now we can uh, pass the text so basically this is a gen ai model and it can perform any function classific from classification to prediction and anything anything you want to embed in your app for basically uh, increasing the efficiency all right so i think we have covered most of the use cases that would be required uh, for you for your app or website or whatever you're creating so I think we can actually test these use cases one by one and for testing. We can just simply call the functions. Uh, like for text generation, we can choose the prompt as the quick prompt box and then we can generate text. For the second prompt, we can choose the text as this. Then we can summarize the text. And for the third function, we can use the context like this. Then we can use the question like this. Then we can print the question answering. And similarly, we can perform the function for other functionalities as well. All right, so let's just run the script. All right, as you can see, we are getting some response from the API and the main content, the main answer of the response is stored in the content dictionary for which we have the paths dictionary, which has the list of all the responses. So basically text, this is the generated text we are having. And similarly, this is the, the text generated for the next prompt. And we would have all the generated texts for the subsequent prompts embedded in the dictionary. This is the translated text, as you can see. All right, so basically to get the text out of these responses, we can actually just get the dot text value of each responses and which shall return the text sentence for each, each prompt answer. So let's test it out. So yeah, as you can see, we are now getting the texts, which were the prompts answers as a single sentence now. So yeah, basically that's how you use 
uh, Google Gemini API for as a Gemini model for your app or any kind of support system. If you want to create a chat support system, you can use this. If you want to create a ambiguous system of question answering, you can also use the AI model for that. One more thing, while configuring the API key, we need to actually run genai.configure as the uh, configuration command instead of just genai and bracket API key equals to API. So yeah, I think that's it for the genai API and how you can actually use it for any use case in your app. And yeah, it is overall a very versatile API, which you can actually embed in many, many use cases. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching.